if you couldn't go to church today because you're disabled or there's no one to take you, then we thought we'd bring the church to you. So we are singing this song for you, whoever's alone out there yeah. on this day, which I know very well about. Because yeah. on this day in 1984, I was alone in my apartment about to commit suicide. It's a long story, but I won't go into it here. I was alone, completely alone. And Jesus saved me on that day with no people in there but me and a woman on the phone. And she led me to Christ. It was like an explosion. It, it was like scales fell off my eyes. Like I had been wearing dark, dark glasses for my whole life and that suddenly they were gone and everything I could see, I used to see before, but I saw it in a different light completely. It was a new birth that happened in me. I was renewed. It wasn't some, some preaching from somebody or some theology that I decided to follow or, or some scriptures I tried to put into my head. It was meeting Jesus alive. He's alive and he's real. And it became a real thing in me. He became real. And so on that day of my greatest sorrow and greatest loss, it became my day of greatest joy of all time for me. From that day on, my life changed. Not everything got wonderful, but I was reassured about eternal life. I was assured about it. And I know I have eternal life now, just like I knew in 1984 on Christmas Day. So the loneliness and the depression was turned around to bring great joy. You know, white and, and dark and black, they're so opposite that when you're in the blackness and you suddenly see the light, it's so brilliant, it almost blinds you. And so because of my dark day on Christmas Day, because of that darkness that was on me, suicidal and loneliness, the light when it came was so brilliant and so immensely changing, life changing. I got a new birth. It wasn't a new set of rules. It wasn't a new way of thinking. It wasn't, okay, now I'll read the Bible every night and I'll quote the scriptures and I'll, I'll put them in my intellect. It's not an intellectual relationship with Jesus. It's a real one. It's a heart-to-heart -heart one. It's truth. It's not a whole pack of stuff that you're forced to believe. You call on Him. <clears throat> Ask Him to come into your life. Ask God for forgiveness. And that's when it happens. It's not just a new set of rules, a new way of thinking. It's a complete new life. It happens to you. You don't change you on that. that time, at that time, you don't change you. He changes you. That's the difference. It's not another religion. It's reality. So we'll sing this song, my wife and myself, on this day. And if you're alone, then this song 